Well, there was disappointment for Chen Wen Sing in the women's doubles. Can she make amends in the mix and win Taipei's first ever title here at the Onyx Japan Open? For the Danes, Jorkum Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. Beaten finalists two years ago. And it has been 16 years since the last Danish mixed doubles pair won a title here. That was a certain Thomas Lund and Marlena Thompson. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Lund. So the introduction's complete. Well, both pairs on court have won bronze medals in major championships. Danes having won bronze at the World Championships in 2009 in Hyderabad. Taipei having won bronze at the Asian Games in Guangzhou at the end of last year. So, Chen Wen Sing, who held those two match points in the women's doubles, she's got to have put that disappointment out of her mind in preparation for this mixed doubles final with her 25 year old partner, Chen Hung Ling. semi-finalists a year ago, a pair from Taipei, as indeed were their opponents. So both the beaten semi-finalists from 2010 got at least one better this year. Seeded five, Cheng and Chen. World ranking of seven. Down one place actually from last week beaten finalists at the Singapore Super Series events earlier this year. In fact, three times they've been in finals already this year, so this their fourth appearance. And as you can see, what a match they had against the defending champions, the world champions, the number one seeds, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei yesterday. They saved four match points in that second game and they were 18-20 now for eventually winning it 24-22 and the decider 21-17 so for the Danes well three times they've gone the full distance they are number four in the world up one place from five a week ago beaten finalists as I say two years ago against Song Pon Anu Greteawan and Kuntrela Vorovici Chaikul three thrilling games if I remember correctly that final two years ago well there we have their path through to today's final semi-final against number seven seeds Michael Fuchs and Michels an hour and one minute 21-19 in the decider. Prayers, get ready. So as far as Super Series is concerned, Danes have more experience. 
seven career titles as we look at our court officials for the Danish combination. Three of them Super Series events, plus, of course, they won the Super Series finals. And it was actually after winning those Super Series finals in Kota Kinabalu that Joachim Fischer is a tall man, isn't he? 189, that's about six foot two and a half. He picked up a nasty knee injury and he was out for very nearly nine months. So last year, Joachim Fischer, his first tournament back after knee surgery, was the World Championships at the end of August last year. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chen Fulin and Chen Wenxin, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson. Denmark. Chen Fulin to serve to Nielsen. So the mixed doubles final here at the 30th Yonix Japan Open. The number four seeds from Denmark, York and Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen up against the number five seeds Chen Hongling and Chen Wen-Sing of Taipei. That's a great interception. We saw that in the women's doubles, didn't we? Chen Wen Sing, absolutely brilliant at the net. And this is actually the fourth meeting between these two pairs. Three previous have all happened this year. And it's the pair from Taipei who have the advantage, having won two of the previous three meetings. The most important move. They won the last two encounters. That was in the Indonesian and Singapore Super Series events. to see the battle between the two women in this mixed doubles final because I think both Christina Peterson and Chin Wen Sing will be vying for control of the net. Yeah, both trying to keep the other away from that front court position. Oh, it's all very fast and furious at the moment. Oh, good net shot. And of course, the other thing that's going to be of interest is whether Chen Wen Sing manages to hold her nerve on her serve. Seemed to have lost all confidence in her low serve. And that's been the case for quite a few months now, not just in the women's doubles final. Finds the back line. All three. Yeah. She is very, very sharp at the front of the court. Probably the only world-class badminton player that I can think of that 
wears glasses rather than contact lenses. Always gives him a useful expression. The Danes want to get Chen Wen Sing to the back of the court. They realize just how good she is at the front. So already we're seeing the tactic of the flick serve to her, push her back in court, keep her at the back. to go across court from Chen Hung Ling. judgment decided very early on and he was going to leave that Gone long. Yeah, clearly long. That's the flick serve again. And keeping her to the back. Now she's made her way in. Oh. Uh, forgot that he was a lefty. Hitting the shuttle right onto Joachim Fischer's forehand side. Absolutely brilliant. Wonderful interception from Chen Wen Singh. First on the backhand, then on the forehand.
So to the mid-game interval, the Danes have the advantage. Three-point advantage. And the usual intensity of Joachim Fischer Nielsen. Every single point gives it his all. Well, I'm sure coach Klaus Paulsen will be saying just don't get carried away. Keep thinking about the placement, mixing up the pace. Don't play it all hard and flat. sort of serve. Still not found the confidence, I'm sure, after the women's doubles final. She was down on the practice court, having showered and changed her kit. Should have been practicing that low serve. And it's very different in a match situation. Sharp onto the low serve. Denmark has won titles here at the Japan Open in every discipline apart from women's doubles. Hey. Taipei have never won service any title. Order. Well, there's another Ball service error. 11. When the shuttle's in the air, she's looking for the net. Great anticipation, but not only that, very courageous. Call, call. 
Service fault call, racket not pointing in a downward direction. 15, Thought the flick was coming. Last two's low serve. She's made an error. 16, 15. Now, will she flick serve against York and Fisher? That's a great shot, isn't it, from Chen Hung Ling? Low, but too loose. Got punished. Yeah, so was that. And that was a loose low serve from Fisher Nielsen. Serve. Oh. Uh, what a difference it makes in the running if you can get a good 16. serve away. Three points adrift at 11.14. Mm, three points the advantage. Well, Christina Peterson just saying I can't see the shuttle because Jim Wen Singh is standing in the way. Good anticipation from Peterson. 18, Big point. Oh, flick serve is wide. So Goodness me. Game point 18. And that error on the serve means that the pair from Taipei have two game points. Yeah. Well, just knew the flick serve was coming. So that's one of the game points that's come and gone. And this time they convert. 
the number five seeds, Chin Hung Ling and Chen Wen-Sing of Taipei have taken the opening game 21-19 in 18 minutes of play. And this is the final rally. Miera from the left-hander, Fisher Nielsen. Yep, yeah, another delight from Chen Win Sink. Well, the Danes have lost to their opponents of today in the last two occasions they played against them. from Taipei, going to make it three in a row. Certainly looking good at the moment. whilst it's been 16 years since a Danish pair won the mixed doubles whilst Danish winners won the Japan Open won oh. the men's doubles in 2008 there was Lars Borska and Jonas Rasmussen Logically, it's getting more and more of a problem for her. And you saw in the women's double, she actually served forehand action rather than backhand. Changes. Couldn't help but think as the rally was in progress that if one of the players could just take a little bit of pace off the shot, glide the shuttle into the open space, would have had perhaps more of a, an effect than the rapid fire exchange. Service call good. Placement of the smash. Over, two, oh. 
good return. You can hear Klaus Paulsen shouting instructions from the back of the court. Danish coach. Super. Call from York and Fisher to leave the shuttle. And Christina Peterson getting a racket out of the way in time. Enough pace on that shuttle, get it back from the absolute net area. And with Peterson coming forward, just got it past her. Well, it's called good. Fisher Nielsen doesn't like the call. He's looking up towards the giant screen. I'm not sure we'll see from this angle. Oh. You can also change it next time, okay? Nielsen, warning call, misconduct. Well, warning call for misconduct because as he was arguing with the umpire, we could see the shuttle on the replay landing absolutely plumb on the back line it was a good call by the line judge and the umpire was right not to overrule it Five, eight. Serve is short of the mark. Service over nine five. Errors on the low serve. Oh, it's landed in. And therefore, an advantage for the Danes. But remember, of course, they had the advantage at the mid game interval in the opening game and failed to convert. Game. They had a three-point advantage. Here, yeah, 
they've got a five point advantage. Eleven six. Good serve. Oh! Yeah. Fell six. Serve return and third shot. Set up the tone of the rally. from Taipei only formed their partnership last year and they've never actually won a title this is their fifth final four previous finals being beaten at the final hurdle Oof. I wonder if psychologically that's going to play on their minds Timed the smash there. Okay. Chen Hong Ling. <laughs> Missed it. Just wide. So expressive, isn't he? Can see the anguish in his face when he makes the error. Such a good rally. Brilliant badminton. Points. No, there's just two points in it. Ah. 
Now the run comes to an end. She's pushed it wide. Trying to play the right sort of shot, a little mid-court area. Down the tram lines, get it past the net player, but make the shuttle land in front of the rear court player. started with a flick serve yet again. Sixteen thirteen. Oh, he's hit it long. Didn't really get behind the flick serve. Hit it too flat. Goodness. Well, nearly three or four attempts to break down the defense of Chen Wen Singh. And now just three points away from a third and deciding game. the low serve or does she just try and get the shuttle in play with the flick yep shuttle in play with the flick but not for long yeah, he's really looking for it going back so quickly expecting the flick serve It's a great change of pace from Chen Wen Sing. Pleased with himself and rightly so. Four 
four game points. Good serve. Only needed the one opportunity. Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Fierdersen take the second game, 21-16. And we will be treated to a third and deciding game. So simple, just push the shuttle into the mid-court area. Well, the last two occasions they've played against the Danes. This pair from Taipei won in two straight games. This is the first time of the four meetings that the match has gone the full distance. So the number four seeds, Joachim Fischer Nilsson and Christina Bederson of Denmark. Against the pair who put out the world champions and defending champions here at the Japan Open, Zhao Yun Lei. And having had such a tremendous semi final victory, Chen Hung Lin and Chen Wen Sing. Perhaps a bit of a reaction to that wonderful semi-final. And certainly for Chen Wen Sing. Well, I have to say I was impressed the way she came out for this mixed doubles final because after the disappointment of the women's doubles, where she and her partner held two match points before losing. But the one thing that she's got to concentrate on and got to sort out in her own game is her low serve. Short. Yeah. Put away with Venom. Big jump smash. <laughs> Shuttle bouncing from that mid court area. I think the Danes getting in each other's way there. Oh. 
good pressure applied by the left-hander. Smash. Gradually coming further and further forward in court until he could play the winner. Just seemed to put out the racket arm. Chen Wen Sing didn't seem to move her feet for that last one. That's why she made the error. It's a super smash. Good awareness from Chen Hung Ling. He's a clever player. I remember watching him about three years ago in mixed doubles, long before he formed this mixed doubles partnership. I'm thinking how clever he was. again Taipei pair quite happy to keep Christina Peterson to the back of the court and Fisher getting a little bit frustrated that he wasn't involved and therefore going for one that really should have tried to play the backhand rather than the round the head shot. Awfully easy for me to sit up here and criticise that. Much harder down on court, but this is a good little run. Three straight points for Chen and Chenga. Too loose. Her opponents absolutely stranded. Neither of them reacted to that.
Eight, well, she was desperately trying to play the block and follow forward to try and take her opponent on at the front of the court. It was the right idea. The execution not to match. When they get in that formation of Chen Hung Ling hitting down from the back of the court and hitting down in a place that involves his partner at the front so she can finish off the rally. Well, it's quite clear to see why they beat the world champions yesterday. Good flick serve. Yep. And it's a run of four straight points to take them to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Fifty-one minutes this match has been in progress. little half-court pushes and the main question mark in my mind of course is the serve of Cheng Wen Sing she can hold her nerve on her serve and pick up a couple of points here and there I think the Danes will struggle but that is a big question mark Yeah, he snatched at that, did your confession, Nielsen. Five straight points now. serve but an even better return a little hold and flick before that final smash from York and Fisher one prior to that that really did the damage Good serve. 
Instead of serving to the tee in the middle of the court, serving further out wide. And it just confused Chen Wen Sink. Another good serve, but he couldn't capitalize. going out. Quite happy to keep Pedersen to the back. Ah, oh, it's a great rally. Short. And it's out. So having been four points adrift at the mid-game interval, and then the Danes have battled their way back. It's just one point in it. On the back level. That was Paulson, I'm sure, just saying to his players, come on, keep thinking. Don't get drawn into the flat, fast exchanges. Good return. Good rally. To serve on the need to score on the Cheng Hung Ling serve. Oh my goodness, me. Yeah, they really aren't quite happy to keep Peterson to the back, aren't they? I'll go. What a rally! Just couldn't get the shuttle on the floor. And then both ended up going for the same lift.
another fine rally. And the pair from Taipei digging themselves out of trouble once again. And got on the attack. The defensive play of the Danes is at times vulnerable. Exactly an hour of play. 16-13, deciding game. Oh, she's missed it. 17, 13. Well, I said they needed to score on Chen Hung Ling's serve. They've done precisely that. Four straight points. Amazing. Oh, sensational. How did he get that back? And then the defense from Chen Wen Sing, she drove the shuttle back, kept them in the rally. And now just three points away from their first ever title. Got to put that out of their minds, though. Number five seeds from Taipei. Four times they've been in finals. Four times they've been beaten finalists. Okay. Lost in the final of the Singapore Super Series event a couple of months ago. Eighteen thirteen. Good flick serve. Oh. Opportunity missed. Both the Danes absolutely yelling at each other. Come on! Well, the encouragement to one another, not sufficient. Because now, number five seeds, two points required. Now, just the one. It is six match points for Cheng Hunling and Shen Wen Sing of Taipei. Oh, forehand serve. No pretense about what was coming. Oh. Well, that's the first opportunity squandered. This time, 
and the number five seeds Chen Hunlin and Chen Wensing of Chinese Taipei. In their fifth final in international competition, finally take their first ever title. It is the Onyx Japan Open yes. Super Hello. Series title. And there is how they did it. 21-19, 16-21, 21-15 in the deciding game. Well, what a match it was. Absolutely extraordinary. And I suppose having beaten the number one seeds, the defending champions, and now the new world champions, Zhang Dan and Zhao Yunlei, in yesterday's semi-final, followed that up with victory over the number four seeds. And having been so disappointed about her women's doubles, great compensation for Chen Wenxing because she and Chen Hunling have taken the mixed doubles title.